are now moving up the ranks of wet Junes on record of PDX. We now currently sit at seventh after the wettest April on record and a wet May, right? Now the seventh wettest June on record. I am thrilled <laughs> to show you this. I know some folks are saying we need the rain. We've had plenty of rain this spring. So this is the Climate Prediction Center's latest outlook, June 24th through the 28th. So this is getting beyond the range of our 70 forecast towards the last couple of days of the month. I can't remember the last time it showed this below average precipitation potential uh, in the days six through 10. So that means that not only as our seven day forecast wraps up here, does it look dry, but possibly even the week beyond to take us through the end of June. So I'm not going to sit here and say this just yet, but it's possible that the rain that we get today in this evening, whatever little rain that we have might might be it for the month that would be really something wouldn't it after just weeks and weeks and weeks of uh, above average rainfall that said we have some rain to get through today here's our weather pattern we've got the northwest flow here and a few green blobs here over northwest oregon southwest washington and future cast backs that up we'll continue to see on and off light rain showers today not like the heavy downpours that we had yesterday in some cases and even some severe weather we had uh, three distinct reports at least of uh, funnel clouds, a couple uh, out near Hillsboro and a couple uh, down in uh, in Lynn County, I believe as well. So uh, yesterday was an active day. It could be a little thunderstorm E across eastern Oregon later this afternoon. The west side of the state, though, generally cloudy with on and off showers and maybe one or two sun breaks. Uh, that's kind of the way our Father's Day is shaping up this year, right? A little cool and uh, possibly a little wet at the coast today. A couple of early sprinkles. Daytime highs will struggle to get into the upper 50s. Through the Columbia River Gorge, here's a look at the wind forecast. I wanted to point this out as well. It gets quite breezy through the central and east Columbia River Gorge. Goldendale, white salmon gusting to 30, maybe 35 miles an hour this afternoon. And you may even see a few sunbreaks out there. That's a pretty shot of uh, Rowena Crest from Cindy Lynn. And the forecast in the east gorge gets into the lower 70s this afternoon. We hop over the uh, Oregon Cascades to central Oregon. Partly sunny with a shower chance. Those will be primarily elevation driven. So in some of the higher terrain of not only central, but also eastern Oregon. And I threw in a thunderstorm threat there as well. As you get out towards the blues and the Wallawas, we could see or hear a rumble of thunder today. Up and down the I-5 corridor, temperatures generally in the mid 60s. And all of these numbers are a good 10 degrees below average for mid-June. That's going to change a little bit as we go into my seven day forecast. And I'm thrilled to show you this. This is future cast. We get the rain out of the way today. Tomorrow will be one of those days where the clouds linger for a bit, but I do think we see sun on Monday afternoon. Tuesday looks phenomenal. Wednesday, another cloud to sunshine kind of day, but check out Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This is the first time in a while that I've looked at a, an extended computer model and seen dry weather. And so with that high confidence, of a dry forecast starting tomorrow. So we we rip off six straight days of dry weather. Of course, the summer solstice is in the wee hours of Tuesday morning. So the first day of summer looks uh, looks summery. How about that? <laughs> 79 and not only that, uh, we've got temperatures bumping up maybe into the mid 80s next weekend. A, a, a couple variations of our computer mm -hmm. models actually go as warm as 90. Oh, wow. That's, that's just a tiny probability, but it's just an indication of I think we're going to get locked into a little bit of a dry and warm weather pattern here, not only for the next six, seven mm -hmm. days, but maybe beyond. beyond. Wow. Summer. Let's hear it. It's officially, well, kind of officially here. It'll but be it's officially here on Tuesday, and the weather will finally bear that out, right? Oh, awesome. Thanks yeah. so much, Chris.